Today on Exploring Limitations, I'm going to show you some sounds with this. An old telephone receiver. Here we go. Cha. So, this is a telephone, or part of a telephone. Remember these kids? Well, this is no longer a telephone. It's a microphone. My good friend actually made this for me. Zach Simao is a producer drummer originally from Hawaii, now based in Los Angeles. Check out his links below. Like I said, he made this, but how? Well, it's actually quite simple, even though I personally have never done it. Personally have never done it. Rewiring any speaker to become a microphone has been a practice in studios for a long time. And you might be familiar with those sub-kick microphones. This is the same concept, but instead of a big speaker, an eight inch like the ones right here, we're just using the speaker from this old telephone. Of course, I'll link to my favorite DIY videos and articles below so you can tackle this yourself. And as you can hear, the telephone mic is very telephonic. Well, what does that even mean? It's, uh, it just basically means that the EQ curve is very narrow, and this can yield some fun results to play along with. But enough talking, let's get to the experiment. My good friend Colin Stanley, who you might recognize from previous video, Oh, guitar's off. Oh. Came over today to play some examples with me. First, check out this mic setup. Always try your best to line up the capsules when using multiple mics on the front of the speaker to diminish phase cancellation. The dynamic microphone we're using today is the Bayer Dynamic M201, which is a beast on the snare, and it is just going straight into channel one or track one on the Tascam Porta Studio. The telephone mic is going into this gain pedal and then straight into channel two or track two on the Tascam. Why the gain pedal, you might ask? Well, these telephone mics usually have a pretty weak output, so any clean gain to help us out on the way in is super duper helpful. Oh yeah, and for you guitar nerds, I snapped a photo of the pedal setup for Colin. We got a Behringer UV300 Ultra Vibrato. That's going into my favorite Boss Wazacraft chorus pedal. And that's going into the Behringer DR600, first on a spring reverb setting and then later on a hall setting. Okay, let's listen to the first example and then I'll show you on the Tascam the difference between the dynamic microphone and the telephone microphone. For this first example, I just want you to hear the difference between the dynamic microphone and the telephone microphone. So I'll toggle back and forth and blend as well. Let's check it out. All right, that's the dynamic mic. Nice and thick, right? Hear that? All right, telephone mic. Nice. Sounds like a telephone. Let's blend them. can hear right off the bat without any effects, without any EQ, you've got ways of blending your mics that for some cool uh, sounds. You can have fun with that, but let's listen to the next example and I'll show you a mixing trick you can do with that second microphone. Let's see what we can do uh, with that second microphone if we just add some delay to it. So like the first example, I'm gonna play you the dynamic mic solo and I'll bring in what I'm talking about. Right, there you go, nice and fat. Now let's bring this in. <laughs> I'm having fun here. So, that's just the telephone mic with a delay on it. You can go nuts with this idea. 
So obviously right now, or if it's not obvious, I'm using the effect send to go to this delay pedal and that's how you're getting the delay on just the telephone mic. And that's a fun thing to do when you have two mics on the guitar. But let's go ahead and listen to the third example now, okay? Check it out. heard the microphone separated and you heard the second mic with an effect on it. Well, for this third example, Colin did an overdub where we combine the signal of both mics into channel four. And we're gonna spread that single part. And I'll show you how to do that real quick right here. You can do this in a DAW or in an analog mixer. So that's your dynamic microphone. And that's your telephone mic on that part. Let's bring in that second part. Pretty cool. Now let's pan it. So this is going, this signal is going out of the effect out into this delay, going back into channel five. to explore with this microphone, but I hope this video inspires you to go out and make one, or at least find a friend like Zach who can make one for you. Go forth, have fun, make stuff, make fun stuff, and if you like what I do on this channel, my links for, to my Patreon page are below, patreon.com forward slash made on tape. Colin will play us out here, but with that as always, is peace and be good to each other. Chibidi ba, chibidi ba, hibidi 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 ha.